Welcome to the W3Schools CSS Tables tutorial. The look of an HTML table can be greatly improved with CSS. Let's start with table borders. To specify table borders in CSS, use the border property. This example specifies a black border for the table, table header and table data elements. Notice that this example has double borders. That's because both the table and the table header and data elements have separate borders. To display a single border for the table, use the border collapse property. this. With the border collapse property set to collapse, the table borders are collapsed into a single border. The width and height of a table is specified by the width and height properties. Here we have set the width property of the table to 100%. So it takes 100% of the available space. Let's try to change it to a pixel value. And the height of the table header is 50 pixels. You see here it's a bit much so let's change it to 10 pixels. The text in the table is aligned using the text align and vertical align properties. The text align property sets the horizontal alignment like left, right or center. In this example the text align property for the table data elements is set to right. So the text in the table data elements are right aligned. Let's try and change it to left. Now the text is aligned on the left side. To set the vertical alignment, you can use the vertical align property. It can be set to top, like this or middle or bottom. To control the space between the border and content of a table you can use the padding property. In this example the padding property is set to 15 pixels for the table data element. Let's try and change it. Here it is with 50 pixels and here it is with 0. You can also change the color of the border, the text and the background. You can change the background color by setting the background color property. Or you can change the color of the text by setting the color property. In this example we used it to set the background color and color for the table header element. But let's set it for the entire table. You can also set the color of the border using the border property. And if no color is specified for the border, it uses the color of the element it's supplied to. In this example, we have set the color, the text color, for the table to maroon. So if we remove the color from the border property, 
the border gets a maroon color. This concludes our tutorial for CSS tables, but on the W3Schools tutorial page you can see more examples. Thank you for watching.